ओके फ्लैट स्टील बार coefficient of expansion for steel it is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 and coefficient of expansion for aluminum it is 24 into 10 raised to minus 6 so first of all write down the given data so first of all so area of it is aluminum bar it is given there are two aluminum bars so 2 into so cross sectional area it is 20 into 6m okay so this it is 2 into 20 into 6 so it will be 240 mm square 240 mm square then area of steel it is stand for as area of steel it is given 20 into 8 a 20 into 8 so that will be it is 160 mm square 160 mm square so this one it is linear length and this one it is cross sectional area okay so this it will be given linear and this one it is lateral okay the so cross sectional area it will be this one it is 20 into 6 of aluminum so that's why there are two aluminum bars it will be multiplied by 2 Okay, and steel bar it is this blue color. It is twenty into eight mm. Thickness it is eight mm. So it will be twenty into eight will be one sixteen. The next one it is given temperature that is T. It is rises temperature. It is T. It is given given T is equal to fifty degree Celsius. Fifty degree Celsius. Then modulus of elasticity for steel it is given. It stands for E S is equal to two hundred GPA. Two hundred GPA. So convert it is in Newton per mm square. Two hundred into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square okay then modulus of elasticity of aluminum that is ea ea is equal to it is 80 gpa 80 gpa it will be 80 into 80 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square So this data it is given. Next one it is coefficient of thermal expansion for steel it is given that is it stands for alpha s. Yes. Coefficient of thermal expansion of steel it is alpha s yes, that is given. Alpha s yes is equal to 12 into 10 to the minus 6. 12 into 10 to the power minus 6. Then coefficient of thermal expansion of aluminium it is given that is denoted by alpha a. Alpha a is equal to Alpha A is equal to 24 into 10 raised to minus 6. That is 24 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. Okay. So this data it is given for calculating the stresses in steel and aluminium bar. Okay. So first of all, first of all, <coughs> first first of all, assume it is free to expand. Assume it is. Assume bars are free to expand, free to expand, free to expansion, free to expansion, free to expansion, free to expansion. So steel bar, steel bar, aluminium first aluminium bar is more expansion, is more expansion, expansion. Compared to, compared to, compared to steel bar. Okay, compared to steel bar. The coefficient of thermal expansion of aluminium it is more as compared to steel bar. So, but it is composite. But bars are both bars are composite. Both bars are both. You can say there are three bars. Okay, but three bars are in composite. composite means are in together connected are in together together so together so expansion will be same so expansion expansion should be same expansion should be same okay yes, expansion should be same so actually aluminum bar 
aluminum bar aluminum bar aluminum bar will try to will try to push push to push to steel bar push to otherwise pull sorry it is try to pull to steel bar steel bar okay and steel bar steel bar steel bar push to aluminum bar push to aluminum bar aluminum bar okay aluminum bar okay so steel bar it will be tried to push to aluminum bar so 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 steel bar steel bar will be in tension will be will be will be in tension steel bar will be in tension and tension and comp aluminum bar will be aluminum bar will be in compression aluminum bar will be in compression in compression okay in compression in compression so aluminum bar will be in compression so both the load it will be taken same that is it will be sigma s into a s is equal to sigma s into sigma s into a s is equal to sigma a into a sigma s into a sigma a into a a okay a you can take it that is equal okay so steel bar tension in steel bar is equal to tension in tension in steel bar equal to compression in compression in aluminum bar aluminum aluminum bar so it will be equally shear okay so that's why it is equal to okay that's why it is equal okay So tension in steel bar equal to compression in aluminum bar. So that's why sigma s a is equal to sigma a a. So sigma s is equal to you know that sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to it is a a divided by a s. So it will be a area of aluminum divided by area of aluminum divided by area of steel area of steel area of steel area of steel, area of steel into area of steel into sigma a sigma a okay so is equal to put all this value area of area of steel it is 240 mm 240 mm and sorry area of aluminum it is 240 mm then area of steel it is 160 160 160 into sigma a into sigma a Till we get one relation between the sigma s and the sigma a. So sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to 240 divided by 160. It will be okay, 240 divided by 160. So it will be 1.5 1.5 sigma. A. So it is 1.5 into sigma a, into sigma a, into sigma a, into sigma a. So now, okay. Total strain, you know that total strain, total strain, total strain. First of all, strain due to push and pull. That is, E S plus E S plus E A, E S plus E A is equal to T in bracket, in bracket, in bracket. Coefficient of thermal expansion of aluminum it is greater than coefficient of thermal expansion of 
aluminum. First of all, write on alpha A minus alpha S. So first we take alpha A. Why? It is coefficient of thermal expansion of aluminum it is greater than. That's why we are taken first alpha A. Okay. So ES means that is ES means stress by modulus of elasticity. So modulus of elasticity is stress by strain. So that's why it will become sigma S by ES. Sigma S by ES. Then plus, then plus, then plus sigma A. Then plus sigma A. Sigma A. Sigma A. Divided by, divided by EA. Divided by EA. Ea is equal to is equal to t t in bracket alpha a minus alpha s in bracket alpha a minus alpha s alpha a minus alpha s alpha a minus alpha s put all these value here so sigma s it is unknown value sigma s so I will write down here this side. Okay. We'll write down here. So sigma s sigma s divided by divided by es it is two hundred into ten to the power p. 100 into 10 raised to the power 3, then plus, then plus sigma a, sigma a, sigma a divided by sigma a divided by E8 is 18 to 10 raised to the power 3, 18 to 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to, is equal to T it is 50, T it is, T it is 50 in bracket, alpha A it is 24 into 10 to the power, 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So alpha it is 12 into 10 to the power, power minus 6. This one it is 10. So now solve this one in terms of sigma s. So one divided by one divided by one hundred into ten to the power three it will be pi into ten to minus six pi into ten to the power minus six sigma s minus six sigma s sigma s then plus then plus 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 one by one by eighteen into one by eighteen into ten to the power three so it will be one point two five one point two five into ten to the power minus five ten to the power minus five is equal to so it will be twenty four minus twelve it will be twelve into ten to the power minus six into fifty will be 6 into 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 minus 4 okay. so we know that sigma s is equal to 1.5 sigma a put this value in equation number 1 so we know that sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to it is 1.5 sigma a sigma s is equal to 1.5 sigma a 1.5 sigma a sigma a Put this value here. Put this value. So this we called it is equation number two. So put this value in equation number two. Okay. So pi u into 10 raised to minus 6, pi into 10 raised to power minus 6 into 1.5. To be 7.5. 7.5 into 10 raised to the power, 10 raised to the power minus 6 into sigma a, into sigma a, in terms of sigma a, this value okay then plus then plus then plus 
10 plus 1.25 1.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 minus 5 is equal to is equal to 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 is equal to Ten plus plus one point two five into ten raised to the power so this one by eighteen two into ten raised to the power three so one point two five into ten raised to the power minus five five minus five is equal to so this one is six into ten raised to the power minus so ten raised to the power minus four. So from this relation, actually plus plus one point two five one point two five into ten raised to the power minus minus five. It is sigma a. So this value is sigma a. Sigma a is equal to six into ten raised to the power four. Six into 10 raised to the power minus 4. It will be get sigma a from this relation. So sigma a is equal to, otherwise you can add this both value. 7.5 into 10 raised to the power, 10 raised to the power minus 6. 7.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 plus 1.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. It will be 2 into 10 raised to the power, 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 minus 5 into sigma a, into sigma a, into sigma a is equal to is equal to 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 so sigma a is equal to it will be get sigma a is equal to stress in aluminum is equal to this in aluminum is equal to 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 4, 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 divided by 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. So it will be 30 MPa. That is Newton per mm square. That is means it is 30 MPa. Yeah. Okay. So but sigma s is equal to, we know that sigma s is equal to it is 1.5 sigma. 1.5 it is sigma a. 1.5 into sigma a into sigma a <laughs> sigma a. So it is equal to put all this value here 1.5 into 30. 1.5 into 1.5 into 30. So sigma s is equal to it will be get sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to sigma is equal to 1.5 into 30. It will be 45 MP. 45 MP. This one it is 45 MP. So stress in steel and stress in aluminum. So stress in aluminum it is 30 MP and stress in steel it is 45 MP. Okay.